you're, you're not working. No, I'm not going to see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, <laughs> run up with the mic. And let me get this forward so I can reach you. Okay, so what we want to do today with your questions is we really want to stick to this topic because we all know what a great actor Timothy was and how wonderful he was in Call Me By Your Name and Lady Bird. Yeah. And how stuff, but this is such a wonderful movie. So anybody have a question? Come please up. surreal because um, I had auditioned a number of times for this and um, kind of like the projects you were alluding to last year those were or I guess coming by name is based on a book but that was fictional so uh, uh, this felt like a lot more pressure because um, I just wanted to get you know I think with Steve and everyone involved we wanted to do it justice and you do the story justice and your family justice so uh, um, there was also like a relief involved in meeting Nick he's really like Exactly as he described, a beautiful boy by his dad, and uh, and uh, I don't know. I just got a sense not to talk about you weirdly sitting right here, <laughs> but, but just got a sense of his humanity and like awesome sense of humor and uh, light and great guy. Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, uh, meeting Timmy, it was just I don't know. I, I, uh, I was really struck immediately. It is weird to talk about you you're right here, but I was just struck immediately by like how incredibly committed he was to getting this right and you know just doing this in an entirely authentic way and not relying on cliches and he's so smart and I mean just such an incredible role model for young people like I, I honestly like we just couldn't I couldn't be happier um, that we got him to be involved in this project because uh, it was just amazing. Thank you. Hi, um, so first of all, um, amazing performance. I'm not done crying, but um, <laughs> um, so this is probably the second role um, recently where you've been under a lot of scrutiny for playing a part that is like very particular in terms of like first playing a gay role and now playing an addict. Is it an anxiety for you um, to be under that kind of scrutiny if, like people who identify a certain way watching you and making sure that you're doing it right, you know, whatever that means. Is that an anxiety for you as you are, um, as you are creating the performance, as you are um, doing interviews after the fact, or do you just say, well, it's acting, you're, you're supposed to be someone you're not? Oops, sorry, I, mean, I really, that's an awesome question. And I think it's a mixture of everything you just said. And, um, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm a big believer that the art takes place in the head of the audience member and that you know teach their own reaction so um i i think there's a lot of i think in any art form for music or anything you're hopefully if you're doing a good job and making yourself vulnerable so the anxiety comes in you know showing your colors and maybe people don't like them or something um but then like you said there's an added layer when uh it's specific to a uh, story or a book or like to real lives um but i think you just try to do the best job and try to do it as honestly as possible um, and uh, and and like make your parents proud or something. 